Hi, I'm John Heinsohn from Bunny Graph Entertainment. You're watching Actors Reporter with Kirk Kelly from the Live Video Inc. I'm Kurt Kelly from Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. We are at AFI for the future of storytelling with John, who graduated from AFI in 1994. That is correct. I see. So what did you learn there? Uh, what did I learn there? The AFI is an amazing place in terms of actually learning how to make a movie. Really? So how to grab the script and actually go get it done. It's, uh, it's actually the, one of the most vocational educations you might get in Hollywood, but it's, it's one of the best. I have actually been over there many times and um, being a contributor to AFI, find it amazing the amount of talent that goes through those halls every year. Uh, yes, uh, my class has two Oscar winners, several nominees. Um, my cinematography class in particular was very special. The, uh, the, the DP for Mad Men, many big shows from wow. my class at AFI. You keep together like a network of people? Yeah, that's the other big thing AFI really has as part of its legacy, that the fellows really kind of work together throughout their careers. Where are you originally from? I'm from Chicago. Really? What part? I'm from the city on the north side. I used to live down at Clark and Chestnut in the Gold Ghetto when I worked for NBC. Uh, the Gold yep. Coast, I guess. I understand, yeah. Natives call it there. Absolutely. I went to high school at Clark and Addison, Lane Tech. And when did you leave there? Uh, 1989. I left a little before you when you guys had okay. that winter that was like 80 below wind chill for a week. Yes, absolutely. I was done. Absolutely. I was so it's done. It's all good. Yes. I love Chicago. I was just yeah. back there recently. So how have things changed over the years since you've come from Chicago and here to Hollywood in your life, your career, and as a result of being an alumni from AFI? Uh, well, really in terms of my career, I mean, the, the key to it was actually being a fellow at the American Film Institute. Okay. So in terms of the opportunities that it had, it provided me and whatnot. All the steps in my career have kind of come as a result. Mm -hmm. So it's been a wonderful thing. So uh, now, in terms of the work that I do, um, I'm working on the Academy Awards. I'm doing my third year doing that. So that's nice. been a wonderful thing. Uh, I'm the vice chairman of New Media for the Producers Guild. So it's been a, a wonderful thing. And my family's here now, so that's all great. You moved everybody from Chicago? so they No, no. found my okay. wife here while I was in grad school and all that okay, stuff. Just so. I'd love to live back in Chicago. It's just there's not great industry city. there. It's my favorite city. Yeah. It's just... I wish we could turn the heat up a little. Mm -hmm. So, you've started your own company since you left yes. AFI. Yes. The name of it is? Uh, it's called Bunny Graph. Bunny Graph Entertainment. And how did you come up with this name? Uh, actually, well, uh, the Bunny Graph uh, is named after my grandfather's photography studio in Chicago. Oh, really? Which dates back to the 1920s. So you have and a family that's been in pictures, if you will. Well, he was yes, he was a photographer. Yes. And so actually, during uh, Prohibition, uh, when and, and the depression, um, people didn't have a lot of money yes. to hire a studio photographer. So the only people that would hire a studio photographer back then were gangsters. And so once my grandfather got engaged to my grandmother, she said, I'm not going to marry you because you have these gangsters coming in to pick up their pictures. <laughs> so he specialized in a, uh, a volume business where he would photograph children. Oh. And so he patented this giant rabbit yes. that went over the camera and the, stomach came out, the camera came out of the stomach and the baby always looked at the rabbit. Nice. And so two weeks after I was born, he took me to the studio, took my picture and said, that's the last picture I'm going to take. And retired and became a grandparent. In 25 years, I brought the brand back. It's, in fact, my logo is his logo from How 1928. How wonderful. Uh, because what worked for him yes. uh, absolutely works for me in the digital space. Now, so, you're using this with Disney. Is that true? Well, I'm a licensed vendor for the Walt Disney Company. Well, that's the Disney yes. connection. Yes. And so uh, because, you know, know your audience and keep it simple. That's the key right. to digital. Well, and so... What is the focus of your company, what you're doing today? Sure. It's uh, original development uh, mm -hmm. as well as... Uh, for children's projects? Uh, no, for mainstream. Okay. I, I mean, I'm in production on a feature right now. I'm doing the work for the Academy Awards that I do. I have many projects in development. Right. I was hired last year to develop... So you're producing now? Yes. Okay. I was hired to uh, develop a project out of Singapore. I do a lot of work internationally. I speak internationally a great deal. Really? Uh, this Thanksgiving, I'll be in Estonia at the Black Knights Festival doing a keynote there on monetization for digital videos. So I speak all around the world. It's really a great, exciting time. Where do you see the industry heading uh, as a result of all the digital media and the, sure. the new technology that's evolving as a result? Well, the studios and networks historically have been very siloed mm -hmm. in terms of digital and mainstream. And that's all shifting away. The changes at Warner Brothers in the last six months, I think, is going to really lead the charge across the entire industry. How so? Well, because now they have someone at the top that really is running digi as a, as a, as a digital sensibility. Mm -hmm. And so in looking at all the bit businesses and understanding where the audience is, they are definitely geared towards the notion 
of looking at digital first. And for that matter, where audiences are migrating to in masses very fast. Absolutely. How do you see the international boundaries of language and geography breaking down as a result of this? Well, in terms of the social conversation, I mean, it's you know, it's so easy to spread things around the world. You know, absolutely, I mean, we could be seconds. streaming this live to anywhere. So, mm -hmm. you know, and, and the notion, the the traditional notion of let's say a feature release, you know, in the different markets and things like that, all of that is going to get the world's going to get smaller and smaller. Right. And the social conversation will be one more, you know, one of its own. So, okay. um, so that's that's where I think a big part of it is as well. Now, with the uh, projects that you've worked on since graduating at AFI. Mm -hmm. What are the most memorable ones in your mind of, wow, I'm really glad I got to do that? Well, obviously, number one is the Academy Awards. I mean, mm -hmm. I often tell people, I What do you like do for the Academies? I am the digital showrunner, so I'm okay. the executive in charge of production for all web, mobile, and social media across all platforms. Very so impressive. So I'm the project owner for ABC. I'm the point person for the Motion Picture Academy. Nice. Uh, so basically, I'm kind of the protector. <laughs> If you in will. many ways of the brand, yes, uh, because both the Academy and ABC pay my salary, so it's my third year doing it. I'm very excited. Which ironically, to do it. is part of the Disney family still. It is, yes. yes. That's 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 the, how it comes about. So, right. so I love that project. Uh, when I was an executive at the Fox Network ten years ago, I worked on shows like that '70s Show and Family Guy. Worked with some of the most legendary producers in the business. Worked with great network executives like Peter Roth and things like that. So I've been very fortunate that uh, my time at AFI has really allowed me to really have a great journey in this business. So people who are wanting to be filmmakers or yep. network moguls or executives like yourself, do you recommend they go to college first and then AFI or just go direct to AFI and straight into business? Well, my experience was kind of unique actually. My class at AFI, which was the 20, their 25th class in the history of the, the, the conservatory, um, out of the 150 students across all six disciplines, I was only one of five that had come directly from undergraduate school. So I had classmates that were 40 years old. Right. Who had been lawyers for Motown and had been to NYU, had been to the Lon you know, been to the London School and things like that. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's about being able to just go go tell a story. Right. And there's only so much knowledge you can get. You know what I mean? So I think it is the kind of thing where AFI absolutely is the number one film school in the world, and they teach something that the other Without film question. schools don't. They they actually do teach something that the other schools don't. And so I think that's really a test of the, the, the alumni that they have. What is it that they teach that's so intrinsically unique to AFI? It really tells you how to go make the movie. Mm -hmm. You know, because so we have our we have our projects and we work, we have to pick a discipline. You know, the problem with a lot of the other schools historically has been the directors will edit their own films. Right. You know, they'll produce their own films, all the rest. At the AFI, they it's not just the content you create, it's the dynamic of the collaborative relationships that you have to do, right? So, so a producer working with a director is not always a great relationship in Hollywood, and the and it's AFI not? and <laughs> AFI absolutely reflects that. Right, and that is that there's no better education to then go out in the real world and to go make your movie because it's a real life story. Well, and also AFI uses a lot of professional talent from after SAG yes, who volunteer exactly right. their time. So absolutely. you're actually dealing with the real people who are doing this every day on the set. The dynamic is absolutely 100 professional. Fabulous. What tips would you have for someone who would like to follow in your footsteps? Well, it changes all the time. I okay. mean, I came to Hollywood to be a sitcom writer, and I'll never be a sitcom writer, and that's okay with me. You know, I think it's about knowing. Uh, it's it's it's. Be it, open to change would be one. Well, I mean, I was very lucky to have an opportunity to reinvent myself. Right. I mean, I'd probably still be a network executive if reality TV hadn't killed people in my position. Right. So it kind of forced me to get back out there and to find a way to reinvent myself in the digital space. So I was very fortunate. Mm -hmm. um, I was probably part of the last generation to follow a traditional path of get out of school, go work at a talent agency, you know, go be an assistant somewhere. That's all changed because now the startups, the new networks, things like that are following through. Filmmakers can uh, create their own content and put it right up on YouTube. They have the distribution available to them. That has not always been the case. Everything I shot at AFI was 35 millimeter. And I did six films outside of AFI in my second year but that was only because I was in a fortunate place that I learned the, the, the skill of being a line producer at the AFI to really help me go out there and help someone. If you had a movie, and you had to really make it happen, I'm the guy that would come in and help you do it. Right. So actually now in the digital space, in terms of integrating digital transmedia extensions into features, my, what I learned at AFI now is serving me very well because I can sit down with any producer in town, take their feature script, break it down with the line producer and speak their language in terms of how do we build out these digital pieces and how do we capture them in principal photography. So what are the new projects you're working on right now that you might be able to share with us? 
Uh, sure. Well, I'm in the middle of my, th I'm just starting my third year uh, development for the Academy Awards, which will be right. in March, and we launch the website at nominations January 16th. I have a feature that's in production right now called The Tiger's Tale that Epic P Pictures is producing and distributing. Congratulations. Thank you. They were at AFM. They, they caused quite a bit of buzz a few days ago. They actually right. brought the star of the film, which is actually a live tiger, to AFM. <laughs> I missed so that. If we you, were there. Well, ask around. Okay. Uh, they actually brought the tiger from set right. to AFM to the hotel. And so I am actually the transmedia producer on that project. Very so nice. Very proud of that. It's a great, great fun thing. We'll, we'll want to see some clips of that as soon as they're available. As soon as they cut the blood out of them. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing great. there wasn't any blood, but anyway. Yes. Uh, but it's a great, fun family film. If so somebody would like to approach you and say, hey, could you help me with my project, how do they go about that? Are you open to that? Uh, well, my dance card is pretty full, unfortunately, okay. because and with my contract with ABC, I'm really kind of locked down until, the, yeah, until April. Okay. So we'll just see what happens then. So after tax season. There you go. Okay. Um, but I've always have a lot of other projects and developments. Um, I actually have a concert event I'm developing in Australia. Oh, it's really? It's basically like a Live Aid concert, 12 okay. hour concert event, charity concert. Oh. I'm basically building out the whole digital footprint nice. for that event, which would include the whole social community and global giving and things like that. So I love, I love projects like that. Oh, very nice. So that's kind of, kind of become my sweet spot. Fabulous. Thank you so much for Thank your you, time. Thank you, sir, very much. I'm Kurt Kelly for Actors Reporting Live Video Inc. Back with more from AFI in a moment.